following the disintegration which is coming from the southeast and the southwest part of the country and elder statesman who is also a former military head of state general Abdusalami abubakar has come out to disclose why the ongoing biafra and Odudua agitation will not succeed it is no longer news that the ongoing biafra and Odudua agitation which is being spearheaded by the detained leader of the ipop group namdikano and his colleague sunday Bowu, is also under the custody of Beninese government as being a matter of major concern over the days as series of crises and bloodbath has been brought to place as a result of these agitations. However, following through Abdul Salami's comments on why the ongoing agitations in the south, east and southwest wouldn't hold water, here is one major point he made while delivering his statement in a report that was disclosed by Daily Post some hours ago. Ever since the country gained our independence as a sovereign state, we all have lived together in unity and harmony as one nation, which was why the idea of inter-ethnic marriages was brought to existence, thus strengthening our diversity and encouraging tolerance among different ethnic groups. Apart from the fact that the elder statesman mentioned inter-ethnic marriages as a sign of the strong bond that unites us as a nation. It is even hard for an Igbo man who is married to a Hausa lady to severe their relationship as husband and wife just because they are seeking for disintegration. So putting this very topic into consideration, we all must come to an agreement that there is some truth in what the other statesman said, which is more reason why we should focus on the things that unite us as a nation rather than paying attention to our differences oh my goodness so because of marriage now just like a Muhammad said one time ago so it is an uh, it is now a, a strong reason why nigeria should, will not disintegrate so who told you that a, a nigerian uh, likes even not even talk about uh, the same country we are talking about uh, other people marrying from other continents so does it mean that uh, because of that the country cannot stay together I don't understand the logic behind all this uh, marriage of a thing that these people are using as a as a, as a yastic. I can't even understand it. So because uh, if you marry somebody now, so that means it is very difficult. <laughs> these people are really funny. Maybe they are not putting it well for them. Only the okay. Interethnic marriage has nothing to do with self determination of people. Independence of a group does not does not say. Uh, marriage between uh, does not end marriage between them so many northerners married from niger republic so many nigerians were also married to western cameroonians when they finally left nigeria to join cameroon such families did not break abubakar is protecting his huge allowances and privileges as former head of states you contributed greatly to this agitation always afraid to leave nigeria because you and your people have nothing good to offer except terrorist violence why are you people deluding yourselves like the proverbia proverbia ostrich bed because of intermarriage the injustice the lost side deadness in the appointments to civil service government for assassins political offices kidnapping and killing of innocent citizens by imported fulani bandits should continue indefinitely because of a um intermarriage when different nationalities go their separate way, law abiding Awusa, Igbo people, ethic, Kanuri will still be doing their legitimate businesses in Yoruba land. Vice versa. After all, are Ghanaians, Malians, Congolese not intermarrying Awusa, Igbo, Yoruba, and still doing legitimate businesses without let or hindrance? What will happen when the country disintegrates is that each region will be developing at their own pace. There would be healthy competition. South will use its resources to develop its area. Ditto for other regions. Absalami would rather be sacrificial lamb if it tends to stand along the way. Igbo people are also marrying China and Korea women too. So stop deceiving yourself. You have no valid points. There's no valid point, honestly speaking. I thought he has something serious to say. Terrorist supporter, how can it work when? only tribe that are free to separate from the 
Zoo is you and your terrorist people from North Odudua, Biafra, freedom or death, no going back. How does that affect separation? How does intermarriage affect separation? Nigeria separates today and I marry from the North. I won't kill my wife if Nigeria separates today. Wonder why our leaders are ten, our empty brains. What is inter-ethnic marriage? Does this mean that Nigerians don't marry Germans, Chinese, Britons, and so on? Are they same countries? Enough of all this rubbish in the name of trick. I stand for Biafra. Hmm. These people are really, really f funny. Although they, they are no, they know what they are saying. They are deliberately doing all that, all that they are doing. Many of these anti. Yoruba nation would have died by the time we realized the Yoruba nation. Absalom is a joker. General Ada of the couple can decide to have two nationalities, which is not doing, going to stop division or separation. Because if you people in the north think about this, you and your government will disintegrate Nigeria with nepotism, kidnapping, raping, killings, destroying farms and farmed produce. You have now uh, thought marriage is existing between us after your people have kidnapped and killed a lot of southerners. You forgotten that uh, that uh, they intermarried. They did not. They did not. They did not remember all of that. You see how these people can really reason. <laughs> One strong point, General Absalami made on why the Biafra and Oduwa agitation wouldn't work. <laughs> is that a good reason? Well, people have been marrying from, from time immemorial. So why this fear? Did he taste the tea that was given to M.K. Wabiola if you are not compatible after years of amalgamation? What next? The clause. If Nigerians are married to American city, does that stop America in any way from being a sovereign state? I don't understand. Some other statements should stop being biased. Abu Salami, you don't have a word. So you are you are telling me that no Nigeria that's married in US go and sit down. No Biafra, no peace in Nigeria. Uh bias old man. Old school of thought. My dear general, if it is, if it doesn't happen during your time, it will definitely happen after you have departed this world. One thing you must know is that you are one of the people who cause this agitation. Adibi, you talked to your kinsmen to stop nepotism and tribalism in his appointment. All, wouldn't, all this wouldn't have happened.